Okay, when you have registered with VoiceThread um, and you've got your email up in the corner there, um, you can then start to, to create them. If you look here, you can click on Create and then it'll bring up this option. And then you can start to upload pictures that you would like to have in your slideshow. To start with, you go to the left here, click on Upload. All right, now you can you can upload from different places. You can upload from your computer, so if you have a picture on your computer, um, you can upload from a webcam. Probably you won't have these things. The easiest thing to do is to upload from a URL, which basically means from the the internet. Now let's say I want to upload a picture of um, my city, Southampton. So let me just go to a, a web page. I'll go to Google and go to Google Images and look there are pictures here of Southampton and I want one of these to be um, in my slideshow let's say this one here which is a map you click on the picture and then when you're on the picture you right click and you need to go where it says copy image location okay this will take basically the sort of the, the website link for it and if you then paste that into here, and then you'll get a green arrow, which means that it's worked and that it's OK to upload. And then you can import. OK, and so now I've got the picture. The next thing I want to do is to comment on it. And I can comment either as a spoken um, file or I can write and comment. You can see again on the left there is the, the phrase comment. Click on comment. Now, um, if I want, I can just, where it says comment, you click on comment and then you have either record or type. Okay, wait. There we go, what's happened here? Oh, let's go back again. Um, there we go. Um, so let's go to um, type. So I want to type a comment. So I'm going to say, you know, this. Town located in the south of England. Okay, and I save that. So that would be the first thing. I then may want to record something. So, for example, I might want to say, and it will ask you whether you want to allow this, and you can allow. And then I can then record this. And I can say something like, well, Southampton is an interesting city. Um, and then I can stop the recording and save it. And I can play that back to see. So you can see, you can see that it's got the writing. But I don't think there is a recording at the moment. Um, oh no, I think there is. There is a recording. I think the problem is because I'm recording two things. But then that will record it as well. Um, if you want as well, you can also type and record and draw at the same time. So I might want to say um, Southampton is near the sea. At the same time, I might want to put a little circle around that. Okay, save. Then we can we can watch the whole thing. So we've got that. Okay. Wait a second, and then we will get the other one in a moment. You get the next audio comment, and you get the nice circle there as well, which is really nice. Okay. Um, so there we go. I've done one. Now I can then go back to upload, edit, to then add another one. Okay. So I can then go again to the URL. I can then find another picture. So I wanted to talk about ships. Do the same thing again. Copy image location. Add it in there. Import. And there we go. And then I can carry on with that. Um, the other thing to make sure you do at the end is where it says publishing options at the bottom. 
make sure you click allow anyone to view, allow anyone to comment and then save that and then later what you can do is to, to share that okay. um, where it says get a link you can then get a copy a link and this can be sent to someone and I'll ask you to send this to me a little bit later okay alright I hope you found that useful